At the end of the 19th century, bipolar disorder, previously called manic depressive illness, was conceived as its own psychotic disorder distinct from schizophrenia. It's characterized by a manic phase consisting of an expansive or irritable mood, hyperactivity, impulsivity, disinhibition, diminished need for sleep, racing thoughts, and sometimes even psychotic symptoms. Depression in bipolar patients is similar to symptoms of major depression, though mixed manic and depressive symptoms can also be seen. But why did we choose a ski resort? Maybe it's the polar setting. Or maybe the ups and downs of the moguls are kind of reminiscent of the manic and depressive episodes associated with bipolar disorder. Or maybe... Oh, maybe... I, I just thought of this right now. Two ski poles bipolar, wait for it, they stabilize you. Mood stabilizers. Yeah, that just happened. All right, the first mood stabilizer to discuss is lithium. It will be embodied by this chairlift. Think lithium, lithium. Lithium can be used to treat acute manic events or prophylactically to prevent both mania and depression in bipolar patients. Just think of this chairlift taking a smooth course over the highs and lows of the terrain below. So, how does a small monovalent cation like lithium produce such potent mood stabilizing effects? Lithium has been shown to inhibit signal transduction pathways including the inositol triphosphate pathway and other protein kinase pathways. The anticonvulsant drugs that we'll encounter out here on the slopes may also exert their mood stabilizing effects by modulating these signaling pathways. It's a little murky. But when the physicians started handing out lithium to bipolar patients in the 1950s, they really didn't know what was going on either. So we'll just move on. Lithium has a very narrow therapeutic index, therefore it's important to monitor drug levels so they stay in the desired range. At the top of the chairlift, this narrow therapeutic window will be represented by this sign here announcing the narrow window of opportunity to get off the lift. It's easy though, first you just check for loose clothing and equipment, then you slide forward a bit in the chair, then you put your ski tap- Oh, oh, oh no! <laughs>